Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, February 2023 prediction reading for Cancer. You can apply this to any of your placements. This reading could be about could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the, what the cards have to say. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit, these, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about cancer. What's going on with Cancer for February 2023? Tell me about Cancer for February 2023. What do you have here for Cancer for February 2023 for Cancer? What do you have for Cancer here in February 2023? All right, we have the Five of Swords here. We have the Star card here. Five of Swords, Star card, you know, there could be people in and around you in your life that's trying to dim your light here. And I just feel like it's not going to happen. You know, I just feel like you are really, really protected here. Okay. Um, you know, some of you guys could do light work here. Okay. Some of you guys could be healers. It could be that you guys are working in a very competitive field or people are trying to like, trying to steamroll you or something like that, you know, trying to take you down, okay? Star card, Aquarius, energy of the world, and the High Priestess. Cancer, Pisces, the Emperor, and the Ace of Pentacles here. Really bossing up here, really boss-like here, because, you know, uh, Cancer, you could be in this, you could be uh, someone that owns your own business here or that you're about to start your own business, okay? With the High Priestess, you know, this could be indication, yeah, you're really tapped into your intuition. I feel like you're really tapped into, you know, the divine, the universe here, perhaps even the world because, you know, I'm getting a bit of a scanning energy here, you know, where, you know, maybe in your sleep, in your meditation, you could be like kind of like astral traveling and like scanning the world, you know, sort of like seeing, you know, where there's trouble, you know, you might send healing energy there. Okay. Tell me about the five of swords here. You know, uh, dragons, dragons scan. So some of you guys might work with dragons here or that you guys might have dragons as guides. Okay. Eight of pentacles with the five of swords, the star card. In the Four of Cups. This is really interesting because, you know, with the Five of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, you could be, uh, you know, working in a field where there's a lot of discontent, a lot of unhappiness here, and that, you know, you could be moving towards, you know, some sort of work that has to do with you know, working with, uh, you know, the spiritual realm, okay? Or, you know, working with your intuition, you know, tapping into your psychic abilities here, okay? Uh, the world. You have the chariot, cancer energy, the high priestess here, and the five of pentacles here. In February, you guys could be traveling. Maybe you're getting in your car and, you know, driving cross country or something like that. Or it doesn't have to be close, you know, cross country. It could be close by. Yeah. Um, with the five of pentacles. Seems like you're going through something here, Cancer. Why is this five of pentacles here? Nine of swords. Some of you guys might be struggling with money here. Or that you guys are stressing out over money or stressing out all over a car situation here that you're dealing with, okay? You know, some of you guys could be stressing out over your, uh, you know, your health here too. You know, maybe you guys are going through some sort of health thing here. Emperor. We have the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles here. And the Two of Wands. 
I also feel like Cancer, you're trying to decide whether you want to move or not. Yeah, so I feel like you might not be really happy with the current living situation that you're in right now. Okay, it could be that these people are, you know, maybe it has to do with people in and around you where you live right now. You know, these people are trying to take you down. Okay, so the two of wands. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like you're ready for a new beginning here because I feel like there is a situation that you're in or that there's a living situation that you're in that you're not happy in right now. Okay, so um, what else do we have for, for Cancer? What else do we have for, for Cancer for February 2023? What else do we have for, for Cancer for February 2023 for Cancer? What else do we have here for Cancer for February 2023? Six of Wands and a Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Okay, so Cancer, there you are. Typically that's Scorpio energy to me, but it could be any of the water signs here. Okay, there is some sort of financial struggle that you're going through here, it seems like. Four or five of Pentacles here. You might be saving money for something here, perhaps if you do decide to move. <laughs> Excuse me, that's what you're saving money for, okay? Um, Page of Wands and the Six of Wands here. You know, I do feel like there's a new, exciting new beginning that you're starting here where you're feeling like it could be really, really successful. Maybe you are starting a new business or that you're excited about maybe thinking about moving here, okay? Queen of Wands here and the Knight of Pentacles. Someone could be pursuing you here romantically here too. Or that a lot of you guys are getting in touch with maybe like your witchy side or something like that. You, some of you guys might do magic. Some of you guys might do witchcraft or something like that. You know, it could be light magic here. Some of you guys are getting in touch with your more artistic side here too. Let's see. What else do we have here? Six of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands here, and the Two of Swords. It seems like you have a major decision to make here. It's like, do I stay rooted where I'm at right now, where things are comfortable, or do I need to move here? Okay. And actually, this comfort that you're dealing with here is actually making you uncomfortable because there is kind of like a bit of a, like energy of like ants in your pants. Like it's like you're ready to go. You're ready to move here. Okay. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Two of Swords here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles here and the Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups, not the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups. And the Eight of Swords, wow. Cancer, you're feeling a bit stuck here. There's a sense of holding back. I don't know if it's because you're fearful of dropping the ball. Maybe you felt like you dropped the ball in the past or that you messed up or that maybe this move or that this place that you moved into was a bad decision or something like that. Seven of Swords and the Moon here. So there is like a feminine energy here. Perhaps, you know, whoever this is, this person has been very deceptive towards you, has taken from you here, maybe taken your energy, maybe has taken your light here or that they're trying to take your light. It's like they're trying to pull you to the dark side here. Okay, but like I said, Cancer, you're protected. I feel like this person can't do that. You know, even though you're going through a tough time here or that you could be feeling this, you know, I do feel like, you know, there is an energy of you protecting yourself here. It could be one of the reasons why that you're trying to move away because it's to get away from this person here. Yeah, it seems like, you know, you're ready for, you know, maybe perhaps, you know, a big change, you know, with the death card here. Okay, or that, you know, perhaps if you were friends with this person, you know, maybe you've gotten all you can or out of the situation and that you just want to move on here. Okay, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.